So there's identical setup just like this on the other side, passenger side. So right here on the driver's side, I'm gonna take the two bolts out of the bracket here. Then I'm gonna go over there, 14 millimeter socket. So now with an 18 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna hold the nut on this side of the mount. The head bolt here is a 15 millimeter socket. I'm gonna take this bolt right out. Once you get that out of the way, you can just grab this and lift it right up. Now we're gonna take off the air crossover tube to the turbo here. Just take this little wire out of the way and I'm gonna loosen up the clamp with a seven millimeter socket or a flathead screwdriver so I can pull this right out of the way. I'm going to follow the tube right to the front here and the other end of that air dam hose, seven millimeter socket, loosen this clamp up. This has a little bit of a mounting bolt. It's actually a Torx head and it's a T25, so we'll get that and take that off. Once again, that's a T25 Torx bit head. A long bolt. Now we can lift this right up. Now we're going to take the top cover off the engine. There's eight bolts holding that down. That's a torque head. That's a T30. I'm going to take those all out. So there's two metal tabs holding this side on the outer edge here on the timing belt area. One there and one in the back. I'm gonna lift that up. Now we can lift the back one up. So now that the cover's off, we're gonna take the connector off to that coil by pushing down on this tab. You might need a little screwdriver to help you along. I use a pocket screwdriver. Just lift up back here and then pull it out. Ten millimeter socket. Take off the mounting bolt. And we're just going to grab that coil, lift and twist. Before I install the new coil, I'm going to put a little dielectric grease. I like to put just a dab on this bar right there, on that spot, and then I'll put it on the outside boot just enough so that it won't get stuck in there. And I'm just going to place it right over that spark plug. Just push it down. Get my mounting bolt. Start that by hand. There we go. And then I'm going to get my 10 millimeter socket and I'm just going to bottom it out. Let's plug it back in. Line it up. Push till it clips. I'm going to torque this to six foot pounds. So now we're going to put the engine cover back on. I'm going to put the right side on first, and then these three little notches will line up with those. Fold it down. And those got those middle clips on the timing cover. You got one here and one in the back. Now we'll put our eight torque bit screws back. I'm just going to start them all by hand. And I'll get my T30 socket and snug them all down. T30 socket.
So now we can install our turbo air breathing tube. I'm gonna put it in this one first in the front, in this rubber hose. Make sure it's all the way down seated. Now we can line it up in the back here. Make sure it goes all the way down. And we're gonna take our seven millimeter socket and tighten both clamps. You want to make sure it's snug, not loose. You don't want any air leak. I'm going to put this little wire back in that clip. And now with our seven millimeter socket, we'll move to the front clamp. Same as the back, make sure it's tight, not loose. You want no air leakage. And now we're going to line up this bolt that mounts this. That's a T25. Let's see. Start it by hand. I'm just going to snug it up. Once it bottoms out, you just turn it a quarter turn. And that's a T25. Now we can put our engine torque bar back on. So you're going to line it up on the passenger and the driver's side, and you've got your long bolt going through that upper torque mount. I'm going to put this through. I'm just going to leave it loose. And then I'm going to put on the four bolts, two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side. And that's a 14 millimeter socket. Let's snug them right down. So I have an 18 millimeter wrench on the nut side and a 15 millimeter socket on the bolt head. And I'm gonna just snug it up. And then we're gonna get the manufacturer's specs. So the torque on this strut torsion bolt mount is 80 newton meters, which equals out to 59 foot-pounds. Now we're going to torque all four of these, two on the passenger, two on the driver's side, 14 millimeter socket, and it's to 50 newton meters, which comes up to 36.9 foot-pounds.